My name is Jim Malatesta. I am president of TriTech Technologies. Today we are going to show our multi-level mail sorting machine. This is for processing inbound and outbound letter and flat mail, various sizes. It comes in multiple levels. You could put 18 delivery stations on it or anywhere up to 512 separate sort bins. It is built in a fashion that takes up very little floor space. This particular unit is only 25 feet long. For this demonstration, um, we're going to use poly wrap pieces. And poly wrap pieces, in this case, are actually greeting cards of various thicknesses. They, they go up to uh, approximately one inch thick pieces. And uh, there's long tails, poly wrap tails on the back of them. And it's not an easy mail stream by any means to uh, run and sort. So, some of the actual poly bags are open. They're not sealed that well. Very flimsy. So we'll turn the machine on here and uh, do a test sort audit. Okay, for this demonstration, we're going to take magazines, unbound magazines, and poly wrapped magazines with loose inserts, big, big magazines, envelopes, and various pieces of other type poly wrapped pieces. And we're going to put them together in a stack and run them intermixed. Now for this demonstration, we're going to take a license plate. This is a regular State of Delaware license plate. We're going to stick it inside this envelope and run it down the machine. Okay. It made it down the machine. Uh, here's a U-line catalog. Uh, they're pretty thick. Here's a regular newspaper. This is just a news journal. There's a tab piece. We'll take the tab off. We'll rip the piece. And we'll run it like this. Here's a piece of hard material. Put that in the TriTech machine. And then we can go from that to basically a newspaper type material. Back to envelopes and we'll run at higher speed again. You really can adjust the speed at any speed you want up to 10,000. 10,000 an hour is dictated by the reader, not so much by the transport. The transport can actually run at 20,000 pieces per hour. Uh, we slow the, the uh, transport down for the reader because the reader's a 300 dot per inch reader that reads in a 12 by 17 inch area, and we need some time to, to do some lookup for operational uh, purposes. And we'll go back to just running envelope type mail. And I'll show you that if you have a paddle here, 
it certainly feeds itself. But again, paddles get in the way when you're running this mixed bag of different mail. So we, most people in the field just take the paddle and, sit, and set them to the side because the machine's so quick you can't keep up with it. This part of the machine is actually a single sheet feeder. If you want to uh, run single sheets of paper, because this is a duplex reading machine, you can do that on the Tri-Tech machine. And you just remove this fence for now, and then we put another device here, and it's able to run single sheets of paper down the machine and duplex read it. You basically pick a program, and we have a GUI uh, screen, graphic user interface. You click on the application you want to use. In this case, we're going to run single sheets of paper. And again, because this is a duplex reading system, we can scan front and back side of the, of the piece. So we save these images in a TIFF or JPEG file. You can also save it as a PDF. Okay, for this demonstration, we're going to uh, show the TriTech reading technology. Uh, TriTech reader reads in any orientation, uh, different pieces of mail, uh, and you have to be able to do that for flat mail uh, because a lot of times the labels are on sideways and they're not exactly uh, perfectly printed. So we read in a 12 by 17 omnidirectional fashion, and we'll demonstrate that now. Our reader reads at over 300 dots per inch. And on this particular machine, we have duplex reading, which can show you the front and back of the mail piece. We have a variable speed feeder that we can actually slow down to no speed and speed it up to a very high speed, up to 20,000 an hour, 25,000 an hour, this transport can sort by. But for reading large area items, we leave it at 10,000 an hour because it has to look across this 12 by 17 area and find address blocks and read them. Some type of a test card. We'll, we'll run this piece upside down. Okay, it found the address block. It read that piece of mail. Uh, here it is, the front side, the back side. The tri-type machines are in the state of Washington, so if you uh, live in the state of Washington and vote, we build all the vote-by-mail machines for Thurston County and Spokane County, Washington. Here's another address block. This is sideways. It's, the print's not that great. Again, we capture the whole image of the piece, as you can see. We find the address block, the front side of the piece, and the back side of the piece. We do that for time dating and stamping, so you can track a piece of mail through a machine and know when it was actually delivered uh, to a customer. And with IMB barcodes, you could actually put barcodes on the, the front or the back side of the mail piece uh, for and here, here's the actual OCR results off of that piece that we just ran along with the address block that it found. Uh, we could put special uh, carrier numbers on each mail piece so that when a carrier runs the mail through uh, a delivery point or a, a park point, it, we can actually identify where those break points are. Okay, Dale, if you look at this, you can see what's in this stack. It's just... Single sheets of paper, uh, flyers, flimsy pieces, unbound pieces, oversized pieces. And you can see the orientation is very nice of the mail piece as it came in. I ran down here the news journal paper. This went through the feeder, went down the machine, sorted into the bins back here. And you can see there's no damage on it. I don't, I don't believe you can get any flimsier than this. The newspaper is completely intact. And you can see the facing in these tubs is, is nice. It keeps, the orientation stays very, very nice. We don't, we don't drop it in, in a long area. We just keep these uh, 
You can actually change these to deeper tubs if, 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 you, if required. And these tubs actually can come off. If you need to service the machine, these swing up for servicing. So magnet holds that down. These clip back on here. You can change these out. You can keep these on. You can put different tub sizes on it.